Hey folks, it's Rob from Rob's Movie Collection, and got a little haul here for you. It's getting a bit cloudy here in uh, Southern California. I think it's going to rain again. So uh, I about half an hour ago, I had a lot more light than I do now, so I hope you guys can see this. Okay, so let's start. Start with one that I got from uh, the Dollar Tree store for a buck, Killing Hasselhoff. I kind of think I've heard about this one, but um, well, it's a buck. I figured I can take a chance and see what it's like. We'll see. I don't know. I uh, got a couple of things from Amazon. If you've seen some of my past uh, hauls, recent past hauls, I've been getting Red Dwarf. Uh, I had this one. I think I had bought it at Book Off or something, but uh, it turned out to be the tape, uh, the disc weren't, wasn't any good. So I uh, got a new one. Hopefully this will be okay. And uh, I finally got the complete fifth season of The Flash. Um... The Flash is really the only CW show that I watch because all the rest have just gone to pot. And even this one's borderline. But I figure since I've already got uh, so many of the seasons, I'll just finish it off. So they've just gotten too agenda filled. A Christmas story. I actually bought this back in December, of course, as you might imagine, because um, I uh, I thought I had it. and uh, But turns out I didn't. It's just that you see it so much every year. I mean, I got that TBS 24-hour thing uh, that I just assumed that I had it, but I didn't. And I wanted to get it before they cut out the Chinese waiter scenes because this cancel culture just does that. We got Popeye on Blu-ray. I found this at uh, Walmart also. Uh, I have Popeye on DVD, but I figured I'd get it on Blu-ray because, uh, as usual, because of the special features, I think the, the DVD is bare bones. But I love this uh, this movie. It's uh, it's the only live action version of Popeye, and Robin Williams is really great in it. Uh, it wasn't a big hit for him, but I love it. I have a friend who who loves it as much, and and the only person who loves it even more is his wife. Uh, I'm kidding. That's an in joke. Uh, okay. Speaking of Robin Williams, I uh, got the uh, season two of uh, of Mark and Mindy. I'd gotten season one at Big Lots and. Uh, Lo and behold, they had season two, which is great. Uh, that's the thing about Big Lots. They just all of a sudden pop up with uh, new things here and there. and uh, It's great. You never know. Who knows? Maybe we'll make it through all of them. Casanova's Big Night. Bob Hope is probably my favorite comic actor uh, of all. I've all, always enjoyed him ever since I was a kid, and uh, this is a, a pretty good one from him. He's got a similar one called Monsieur Bocaire, which is in black and white, and... Uh, but uh, it's one of those period piece ones, which are always funny because you got you got him in this uh, time, this period of time. But he's of course expressing himself the way he would in modern times, and I just I was found him very funny. Uh, another thing I got at Big Lots, Legend of the Tsunami Warrior. I don't know much about this film. They got a lot of this type of film at uh, at Big Lots for three or five bucks, and uh, they're these kind of fantasy martial art films. And I thought I'd try it. Try it. I've gotten one or two before, so. Um, okay, so, Big Lots, went to Big Lots, of course, and I got, um, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, Frank Sinatra collection, I consider it more the Gene Kelly collection, but whatever, it doesn't matter what it says, I just want the movie. Uh, I love these MGM musicals, I've said that before, and, uh, uh, I think musicals in general, but especially the, the, uh, MGM musicals have a, a positivity to them. That goes with the fantasy element of people breaking out into song, uh, and uh, I think uh, I think we all need that kind of possible positivity. I, I certainly do, and I always like to pop in one of these. And uh, I don't care how much of a fantasy it is uh, that people would get along this way, or it's just it's just really needed <laughs> lately. Um, next up from Book Off, I got uh, Monsoon Wedding. I know it says Big Lots, but it's actually from Book Lot Book Off. Uh, Oh, 50 cents off. Monsoon Wedding. Uh, I haven't... Uh, this Mira Nair, she's a good filmmaker. I was like her. I, again, I thought I had it, but I said I don't. And uh, saw it once, I believe, once or twice. And I enjoyed it. I like her as a filmmaker. She's uh, she's pretty good. Also got uh, a double feature, uh, Werewolf of London and She-Wolf of London. I love these older, uh, uh, you know monster movies and June Lockhart and Don Porter 
Uh, these are great. Uh, I'm paying a little more for stuff at Book Lots. It says used, after all. Nine dollars I don't usually pay, but I've kind of gone through all the cheap ones, and uh, a lot of these classics. It's hard to find classics anymore, and uh, so sometimes I'm willing to pay a little bit more than I normally would, but it's great to have that. And here's another one that, again, I thought I'd already gotten, but I hadn't. Uh, the Private Lives of Elizabeth and Essex. Davis and Flynn, yes. Michael appreciate this because Mike's a big Betty, Betty Davis fan, aren't you, Mike? And, uh, of course, I'm a big Errol Flynn fan. So, uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, I always wanted this one. And uh, here, this is one of the, the best ones. And they're really good together. So, check that out. And Sweet Charity, speaking of another musical of another time. Not an MGM musical, of course, but uh, a good one. I remember watching this as a, as a little kid, and especially remember the... Uh, the number in the bar, and uh, yeah, she's. I think it's the first time I actually saw Shirley MacLaine, which is a, a pretty good one to start with, uh, if you ask me. So, next up, uh, I got some stuff from Fry's. Now, the last time I went to Fry's, it looked like they were shutting down, and they didn't have any movie section anymore. It was uh, just a couple of baskets at the uh, at the cashier section and I got a bunch of stuff from there and I showed it off this time I went over there uh, first of all to see if they're still around but I was looking for boom boxes and as I was walking by the back there was the movie section thank you for telling me this uh, cashier person that I spoke to the last time you freaking bunch of losers uh, so I didn't even know that they were gonna put back a, a, a movie section so anyway idiots so here's what I got. Uh, start out with some BBC documentaries, The Real Jungle Book Animals, Real Life Animals from the Classic Tale, I guess examining the uh, uh, real life versions of the animals that they have in India that uh, uh, the author uh, based uh, on in his book, uh, The Jungle Book. So uh, tigers and bears and wolves, oh my. Another uh, BBC, BBC Earth one, Madagascar, uh, narrated by the great David Attenborough. Blu-ray Ben will appreciate this. I know he likes uh, he likes documentaries, and uh, yeah, it's great to have these, especially with uh, Attenborough uh, narrating. He's just that guy. Just when I'm stressed out, he just calms me down. Watching his stuff, Fascination Coral Reef in 3D. Um, I, of course, don't have a 3D player. I'm not going to get one, but fortunately it also comes in regular Blu-ray, so that's good. Uh, love this stuff. This is great. A lot of, looks beautiful, too. Here's one that I'm glad I came across. Dog Soldiers. Uh, I've always heard about this one. I've always wanted this one. Uh, it's about, it's a werewolf movie. So it's about the soldiers and dealing with a werewolf. And uh, I believe this is the original one. I don't know if there's a sequel, but I think it is. Hopefully. Uh, in any case, uh, I'd heard about it for a long time, and this is always kind of missing from my werewolf section in my horror section. So uh, never seen it before. Um, might be a little more gory and bloody than I usually go for, but we'll see. Sometimes, sometimes you just you know, accept certain things. The Cleveland Show, complete season one. I had, uh, or have, season two. Uh, I've said before, I I really like this, The Cleveland Show. I actually think I like it better than Family Guy. Family Guy tends to be a little crude and tasteless at times, and some of their jokes are just mean. Whereas The Cleveland Show had a sweetness to it, and uh, even though the character came from Family Guy. But uh, I always enjoyed it. I was, I was bummed out when it was canceled. Uh, and I'm especially bummed out that the actor who does the voice bowed to political correctness and has decided not to do the voice anymore. And I think that sucks. As much as it sucks that Hank Azaria is not going to do Apu on Simpsons. But that's a whole other rant that I am not going to get into. The Captain and Tennille Show. <laughs> uh, you youngsters probably don't know these people, but I do, and I remember them from the 70s. I always loved the Captain and Tennille, and I was very sad to hear that they separated, because love was supposed to keep them together, and uh, 
so that's kind of a bummer. But they did have, like, a, a lot of uh, people in the 70s, a lot of especially uh, singers and musical acts had uh, variety shows. It was the time of variety shows. Uh, Sonny and Cher, uh, I used to watch Donnie and Marie all the time. If I come across a, a DVD of that, I'm definitely grabbing that. But uh, Captain and Tennille also had, and they got all these great guests, uh, uh, Ron Howard and the gang from Happy Days, John Travolta, before he got really big, uh, Gabe Kaplan from Welcome Back, Cotter, Penny Marshall, just, you know, the original of Charlie's Angels, a lot of great, great guests on their show, and uh, they make me happy. Okay, a couple of, uh, I guess they're called Digi Books, I don't know, well, they have books in them, but anyway, came across these for a pretty good price, I think. Pillow Talk with Rock Hudson and Doris Day, I, I've Got this movie in one of those big packs of multi movies, but uh, this is a, a special uh, for ten bucks. wasn't bad. Special one that's got the uh, booklet in it. You can see here uh, a lot of bonus features, so that's really good. Uh, yeah, those Rock Hudson Doris Day movies are great. They're very funny, very innocent, which is what I need right now. Uh, with streaming and stuff, every freaking show on streaming is is you know four-letter words and sex and this and that and i know i sound like a prude i'm not i just i just have a little variety you know and so i like to look back at some of these more innocent ones and uh, yeah enjoy those next up dun, 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 dun 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 yes jaws uh of course i have jaws but uh i didn't have it on blu-ray yet and this is uh, the 42-page booklet. You know, I'm just a sucker for these things that come with booklets. <laughs> I don't know why. Just with a new hundred-minute documentary, uh, a lot of see, a lot of bonus features, which is my candy. Uh, I'm sure a lot of the documentaries are, are the same. Uh, you know, uh, I, I guarantee that it's going to have Rich Dreyfus in there telling the, uh, the the shark is not working story that he always tells, exactly like he does in the other ones. Uh, but uh, this is certainly one of my favorite movies, uh, Spielberg being my favorite filmmaker, and this, uh, yeah, this is a great one, probably the best shark movie. And uh, so many shark movies these days, it's just, you know, so popular, but they're all just over the top and... and I can guarantee you that there's there's no Indianapolis story in, you know, Mega Shark versus uh Killer Shark whatever, you know. And those are fine, you know. They're they're fun too, but uh but this is the quality. This is an actual. I see those as movies where I see as I see this as film. And uh but still fun. So I'm always willing to uh get another version of Jaws. And this I pulled the trigger on. I didn't think I would because it's kind of pricey, as all Arrow videos are. But I got the Flash Gordon. I think this is like my third or fourth version of Flash Gordon. I have it on DVD. I, I recently got the Blu-ray, and I thought, okay, that's, I'm done there. That's I don't have to get anymore. But you know what? It was one of those days where it's not like I haven't seen this out there before. I mean, that's kind of pricey for... I usually don't pay that much money for anything unless it's like maybe a, a full seven or eight season series and even then i wait for it to come down but uh i don't know i was in a mood i was i was sad i was depressed and that's dangerous i really shouldn't go shopping when, I, when you feel that way but arrow video is always pricey eh. but anyway i got it and it's got a whole bunch of stuff i'm i'm definitely late to this party because a lot of people have shown this off you can you can look this up uh, here on youtube and there's plenty of people who have done unboxings about it and show it all off and show everything that's in there. Got the booklet, got the DVD. Um, it's now here's the thing that kind of like worries me a little bit because it says brand new 4K restoration. I don't know if that means that it's a 4K disc, but it does say Blu-ray presentation. So hopefully I'll be able to play it or play something from in here. I don't know how many discs there are. But uh, I don't know if 4K restoration means some kind of quality on the Blu-ray or it means that it's a 4K. Because I don't have a 4K player and I'm not going to get one. So uh, it just goes to show how how ignorant I am of all those, uh, you know, the 
all that stuff and, and how uninterested I am in that because I'm really not that interested in all the quality stuff and all. I just want the film and I grew up you know watching film with scratches and stuff and on TV and commercials and stuff for me it's about the film not about how perfect the quality is and all the time and that's you know so but anyway I just hope I can watch watch it in some one player or mine anyway it's got a lot of stuff to it a lot of special features a lot to go through so uh Interviews with celebrity fans, including Rich Fulton and Jason Mewes. Ooh, wow, I really need to know what what Jay, the pothead, needs, knows about that, or feels about Flash Gordon. <laughs> Maybe that's not the best part of the special features. But anyway, uh, yeah, love this movie. A lot of people love this movie. Certainly the last time you will ever see Ming portrayed this way, uh, because of politically correct reasons. You will never see him like that again. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Well, spent on that. Okay, that's it for now. Not a lot more to show. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time as the rain is about to fall here in Southern California. So, uh, you guys stay safe out there and keep watching those movies.